Hey, what's up? It's Pat here in the brand new studio that we're building out and we're right in the middle of the build right now. And before we start installing some professional acoustical panels to reduce the echo in the room, I wanted to share with you some DIY things, things that you can find around your house to help reduce echo because maybe you want to do a podcast in a hotel room or in a new space or empty bedroom in your house. Well, how can you reduce the echo for zero dollars? Well, it's about the stuff you find around your house. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, so to conduct this test, we are recording into an H6 Handy recorder by Zoom, and we're using an ATR2100 microphone, which is a pretty common travel sort of portable setup that will remain consistent throughout the whole experiment here. And what we're gonna do is just try different configurations using pillows and blankets and things like that that you might find around your house to reduce the echo in the room so we can figure out what works best. So echo is sound bouncing around the room and coming back into the microphone after that source created the sound, which is why you hear that same thing again and again and again. And again, now there's a couple key things I wanna share with you, big tips so that you can reduce the echo in the rooms that you might be in. Number one, if you happen to be next to a lot of window like we are on this side of the room, you kinda of wanna move away from that. So if you have windows or a lot of glass, you definitely don't wanna record it on a glass table if possible. Just that alone is gonna help you reduce some echo. Next, you wanna be in a carpeted room as much as possible because the hardwood floor and all that surface area is gonna include another angle that sound can bounce off of. Now, the more fabric and stuff there is in the room, the better. Actually, the best place to record your podcast is actually in the closet with all the clothes and stuff. But if you don't wanna record in a closet because you are claustrophobic like me, uh, find a place with carpet or a lot of sofas and, and cushions and things like that, and that could, that could work out really well too. Now, let's go to the desk and run some experiments there to see what we could with our desk, pillows, and blankets to have a configuration that reduces the echo for us. So we're at the desk, which is a huge surface area that sound can reflect off of and then around the room and back into the microphone. So I just wanna see if we cover this desk with something like a blanket, how might that reduce the echo? So I'm gonna put my headphones on and I'm gonna say, hey, this is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income Podcast. Hey, this is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income Podcast. Now, I don't know, you tell me, could you hear a difference? Well, let's try some other things. So another common solution that a lot of people say to do is just to have a lot of pillows and blankets around the recording area. So let's just gather all the things we have and sort of put them right next to us to see what happens. Hey, over here. Okay, so uh, this is with the mic in the same position and stuff around. So, hey, this is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income Podcast. Now stay there with me. I'm just gonna move the mic a little bit closer and sort of close things in a little bit and see if that changes anything. Actually, I'm gonna bring this closer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, this is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income Podcast. Better. What if we added something on the top? Blanket me. Okay, so let me add, let me just bring this to the top of the microphone. So I'm sort of like recording this little pocket here. So, hey, uh, this is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income Podcast. Hmm, okay. Let, let's see what would happen if I went completely under. Uh, I have a special blanket for this one. Hey, this is Pat Flynn from the Smart Passive Income Podcast. Uh, I seem to be in a nice sound studio right now with very nice colors around me. Hopefully, uh, you can all see this on camera right now. But um, yeah, it's actually seeming pretty, seemingly pretty good. All right, it's hot in here. Um, so I wouldn't recommend doing that long term, but I think for like a one minute voiceover, sure, that could work. Um, I wanna see what happens when I just have the blanket only. I have all these pillows around me, but what if I just, just do the blanket over me only? Let's see what happens. All right, next we're gonna run a test with my bedroom blanket uh, fully off, and then I'm gonna put it on and say the exact same thing. So, hey, this is Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, this is Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, this is Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. I have messy hair. All right, so as you can see, a lot of this is making a difference now. I did some research on YouTube earlier, and there's a lot of people who have one very similar configuration that I want to share with you that, to me, might be the best one. So I'm going to get three pillows here and put them around, like, the microphone in a V. And I got this other third one on top. And then uh, that should do a pretty good job of reducing a lot of the echo because the sound is traveling past the mic but then bouncing right into the pillows there. And it's hard for me to look at the camera and speak at the same time because the mic's here. But thankfully with a podcast, you don't necessarily need to be on video. Now, obviously, if you're recording a video podcast, this would be really silly and probably something you don't want to do. But for audio purposes, this is a great configuration that only takes three pillows and something that, uh, you know, can help out 
for on the cheap. All right, so in conclusion, you don't need to spend loads of money in order to reduce the echo that you have in your room, or if you're at a hotel room, there are resources there with blankets and pillows that you could set up already so that you can reduce the echo and have some good sound quality on the go. Now, of course, there are a lot of acoustical setups that you can have and pay for to help you reduce the sound and probably look a little bit better and have a little bit more permanent because I don't know if you take the sheets away, maybe it'll get cold at night. But anyway, the number one thing to know is that you need to subscribe because we're going to be covering a lot of different options that you have for reducing echo in the next and upcoming videos, including those cheap egg crate looking things from Amazon versus really expensive premium ones from other professional acoustical companies. So make sure you stick around. We got a lot to cover, but hopefully this video helped you. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below and if this was helpful to you and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much and Team Flynn for the win.